Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I'm going to do a little bit of a different type of video. I want to talk about, and, and I did my homework, I got a bunch of stuff right down. <laughs> um, I want to talk about where bed bugs came from and how you can hopefully eliminate this problem, uh, you know, maybe even prevent yourself from getting bed bugs. I've got a lot of statistics I've written down, and I've gotten a lot of uh, dollar figures, actually, so you know what you're going to be spending. Now, uh, in the comments below, if you can find any more up-to-date statistics, I have been searching like crazy trying to find statistics, but did you know that in the year 2009, I know this is a long time ago, but in 2009, Americans spent over $258 million to get rid of bed bugs. Now, that's just one statistic. That's expensive. Now, this is going with the NPMA, the, the National Pest Management Association. Um, they're the ones that do a lot of your WDI reports and stuff like that for those who are in the uh, in the field who, who do, do, do WDIs and WDOs. But they, uh, and they have a lot of forms that we use for a lot of pest control. And so I thought that was a really interesting statistic because I'm actually going to tell you what to use for bed bugs, how much it's going to cost you, and if you'll believe me, it's for an entire year, you'd be spending less than $1,000 the whole year. Um... And this is with top-of-the-line equipment, top-of-the-line pesticides. Do it yourself. Just go look at my videos. I've got hundreds of videos on do yourself, do your own pest control. I've got um, up somewhere around 60 or so videos on just bed bugs alone. I do have a playlist, which I will link in the end cards, which is at the end of the video, um, that will link you over to an actual crash course on bed bugs and I'm going to put this video in that playlist. So if you're watching from that playlist, ah yeah. But uh, I've got I try to separate all my videos into playlists to make them easier to understand. But um this is going to be a little bit of a long video. If you'll hang with me, I'm going to put some statistics if I could speak properly um on the side here with actual numbers to show you uh, the statistics, you know, across the United States. So bear with me. I know it's a lot of talking, but I'm going to explain to you how to deal with this problem, how to eliminate this problem on your own, or how to prevent yourself from even getting bed bugs at all. So let's get into the data. So one in five Americans, and this is all research done by the NPMA. I'll link the article below. Um, if I can remember to do it, uh, but anyway, it's it, one in five Americans has either had bed bugs or has known someone who has dealt with bed bugs. Even if people don't tell you, a lot of people don't go around sharing the fact that they have problems with bed bugs, but it is very common. Um, how did you get bed bugs? Where did they come from? How, how did you get them? And how much does it cost? That's what we're going to go over with in this video. Uh, pretty much in that order. So if you want to skip ahead, um, stop me blabbering my mouth so much, then you can skip ahead. I'll try to, uh, if anybody would want to help me out in the comments below, um, think about linking down. Because I'm, I'm not too good with linking those, uh, I don't know, the little numbers, you know, where it'll skip you to head to like 250 or skip you to head to like 10 minutes or something like that. So if anybody knows how to do that, uh, that would be just awesome if you could do that in the comments below. But um, anyway, so where do bed bugs come from? How do you get bed bugs? Um, bed bugs, all right, so there's a lot that has changed in the U.S. in 21 years, which is how long I've been dealing with bed bugs. Very first job that I've ever done for bed bugs was in 1999. Um, back then, the number one way that you were getting bed bugs was typically hotels. 
Uh, in fact, the statistics show that Americans believe that that's the number one place you can get bed bugs, but that's not the case. Um, now, this is a survey that was done uh, where the NPMA asked several pest control technicians. Um, this is where all this, this is coming from, is actually people in the field doing the work. That's who this was compiled for, uh, or from, to who it was compiled from, If in case you were wondering how this data was gotten. Um, so where do bed, bags, bed bugs actually come from? All right, so other than the top three places, I'm going to list a few places. Nursing homes, 59%. Schools and daycares, 47%. Offices, all right, so if you work in an office, 46%. Dormitories for schools, high school, I mean colleges and stuff, even high school dormitories, 45%. Hospitals, 36%. And public transportation is 19%. Actually, people were worried the most about hotels and public transportation. Those are the places people are worried the most about catching bed bugs. And the number one place that you are most likely to get bed bugs from, 91% single family homes. That means your friends, your family, relatives, people that you know, people that you visit. These are the people that you're most likely going to get bed bugs from. These are the people that I'm servicing. And I'm, I completely agree with this uh, survey, by the way. Uh, probably 91% of the bed bug work I do is for single-family homes. Um, they're spreading them. They're, they're taking them to these other places I listed, like their office, their uh, dormitories, public transportation, if you're using public transportation. The, the, the second on the list is apartment buildings. 89% uh, of apartments have bed bugs. 68% of hotels. So these are the problems. Is, and, it, and it's not 89% of all the apartments in America have bed bugs. It's, it's, this is compiled from pest control jobs dealing with bed bugs. 89% apartment buildings. So it, this is a lot. I mean, this is really high numbers. Basically, if, if it's somebody you know, that's why it says one in five Americans. One in five Americans um, has or knows someone who has bed bugs. It's really common. That's like 20%. That's a lot of people when you figure it's like, what, three, four hundred million people in, in the United States now? That's a, that's a lot of people that you could easily contract bed bugs from someone that you know. Um, so how do you deal with that? How do you deal with the fact that they're that easy to get? If you live in an apartment, and 89% of, of the bed bug jobs that are being done are in apartments. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot of bed bugs. That, uh, so your neighbor has them. You know, you could be just a wall away. And on the other side of this wall, there could be somebody with bed bugs. And they're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Spraying diatomaceous earth all over the place. Spraying whatever they find at Walmart all over the place. And they're infesting your property. With bed bugs, your house, your belongings, your bed, your children's beds, your your sofas, everything in your house that gets bed bugs. If you've watched my videos long enough, my last video that I just did last week, I showed how to treat different areas for bed bugs, where to look, where to find them. Um, it, they're real common. They're real easy to find. Um, in fact, a nymph, a little teeny, teeny tiny baby bed bug, can actually fit in the seam of a mattress. That's how small they are. They can squeeze into the seams of your mattress. So. How do you combat this problem? Now, I have products listed on my Amazon page. Now, I don't sell pesticide. A lot of people have asked me if I could sell them the pesticides that I use. I can't. I don't do that. I don't deal with sales tax. I don't do all that crap when it comes. I mean, I just did my taxes. Taxes are awful. I hate taxes. Um, and the littlest bit that I have to do, the better. Uh Sales tax is something I do not want to mess with. So I don't sell pesticides. Um, what I did, actually, I had a viewer that recommended that I open an Amazon store. And so the way Amazon stores work, Amazon makes all the money. Um, I have a page where it's got all the items that I recommend for different 
things that people have asked me for. So, for example, and if I think about it, I'll, I'll show a picture over here. On my storefront, you can scroll down and you can click um, like bed bug supplies and it shows you all the things that I recommend for eliminating bed bugs and crossfires there. That's the pesticide that you want to use for bed bugs. That's the one I recommend. Now, I've got a gallon jug, or 130 ounces or whatever. Um, I don't recommend that for single family homes. That's more for like pest control guys that are watching me because I do have a lot of pest control guys that watch me and may do uh, more bed bug work than what you would do in a single family home. I just have it listed there so it's easy to find. That's how I started my business. That's how I started my company was off of Amazon. Um, they have really good return policy if things don't work out. And I do get a commission from my Amazon sales page. But the money that I use from Amazon and the money I use on my YouTube and all the stuff that I make on the internet, which ain't much, I take and I turn it back over and I help other people with bed bug problems. So I don't actually keep the money. I use it to help other people uh, deal with their problems with bed bugs and stuff like that. It's just a way for me to try to give back to the community and, uh, and help people out, lower income families and stuff like that. And that gets into, and like I said, all these links are below. Uh, also, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Tell me how much I suck. But uh, anyway, share the video around. This does help a lot of people, you know, and I, I try to help as many people as I can. Um, bed bugs is probably the, one of the most expensive things you'll ever deal with as a homeowner, and it's something that can happen over and over and over again. It's not like termites, you know. Yeah, you might spend $1,200 to treat your house for termites, but it's protected for years and years and years, and you know you're not going to get termites again. Uh, bed bugs may cost you twelve, thirteen hundred dollars, and then you have to spend it again next year, and maybe next year, or maybe six months from now, and you're dealing with this problem over and over and over. So this is why I'm trying to help uh, to help everyone, you know, not just Americans, but you know, YouTube's worldwide. Everybody sees this all over the world. You can find this information, and so I'm trying to help everybody, and so. That gets into my lower income. Now, a lot of places have started doing low-income family housing help. So if you have problems with bed bugs and you fall into the category, maybe you have food stamps, maybe you have WIC, maybe you have uh, some other type of government assistance program, the Department of Social Services has gotten into helping in some localities, not all, some localities, they actually help people um, pay for bed bug service where they will hire me or they will hire somebody else to help with the bed bug control. Um, because these people are a real, not, not just, the bed bugs aren't just bothering their children or any, but they're also bothering society. You know, these people have to shop, they have to go places, they have to do things. In fact, the number one place in cities uh, for bed bugs is typically inner city and lower income because uh, apartments are kind of crowded together. You've got more people, more dense population, and more people are communicating with one another. They're using public transit to get around and stuff like that. Maybe they're even picking up couches and stuff off the street just to try to save some money and end up infesting themselves with bed bugs just because they don't know any better. Um, no one, no one wants bed bugs, no matter what their income level is. No one wants bed bugs. No one is going to pick up a couch on the side of the street that's infested with bed bugs if they know there's bugs in it. No one is going to pick up a bed off of the corner of the street if they know there's bed bugs in it. It's because they don't know. That's why they're bringing these things into their home because they see a perfectly good couch and a perfectly good bed and they just want to sleep. They want something for their kids to lay on. They want something to be comfortable and they can't afford to go out to Shul's or you know, Ashley Furniture or somewhere like that and buy something brand new because it's expensive. It's it's a lot of money. And when you're living paycheck to paycheck, trust me, I know what it's like. I've lived in Section 8 housing. I've been on food stamps and it wasn't that long ago. And uh, I picked myself up and I got out of it, but I know what it's like. And that's why I'm here trying to help people because I know what you're going through. I know what it's like to be where you're at. And so I'm here to help. I'm going to help you. Um, I'm going to show you how much it can cost you that you can afford it. Even low-income housing can afford it. If the government won't help you and you can't get assistance, I'm going to show you how. If you just stick to the end of the video, I'm going to show you how. As soon as I get, in fact, it's really close to the list because you take your high-income families. So let's 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 take low-income and push them over for a minute, and let's talk about the people that can afford it. They've got the money; they can afford it. Let me give you some prices. All right. The average person 
is going to spin. Now, this is an average. 1000 to $2,500 to get rid of bed bugs. Now, this is one treatment. This is not more than one treatment. This is the one treatment type cost of getting rid of bed bugs. Um, personally, I think that's kind of low. Uh, that's a very low ball figure, but that's what I got from the internet. That's what the NPMA says. Uh, that's their statistic, and that's what I'm reading on this piece of paper. Um, bed bugs lay five eggs a day. That's 500 eggs in their lifetime. They're found in all 50 of the United States. Your state isn't any better than anyone else's state. Everyone in the United States has the possibility of getting bed bugs. All right, so your high-income families can afford to pay for it. They get rid of their bed bug problem, easy peasy, done. They've spent all this money to get rid of their bed bugs. All right, they've got the money. Low-income housing, maybe you get to, with the DSS, they help you out. That's great. They got rid of their problem. So what about your middle-income families? What about the middle of the middle of the road? Those people that probably are living paycheck to paycheck may even be house poor. You know, they might have you know more more money in their house than they can afford. Uh, typically, that's what you find with middle income. Um, how can they afford to spend the money on the bed bugs? All right, so let me give you some quotes locally here in Virginia, twenty minutes away from where I live, forty five hundred dollars. To get rid of bed bugs, um, thirty-five hundred dollars to get rid of bed bugs. About fifteen minutes from where I live, uh, three hours up near DC. Now DC made top two list last year. They were the second worst infested state of bed bugs in the union. Uh, was DC? Of course, not really a state, but it's Washington DC was the worst. Um, up around the DC area. People are getting quotes up to twelve thousand dollars for one treatment and ninety-five hundred dollars for one treatment. That's a lot of money. So, I told you that I could teach you how to spend less than $1,000, which that's the low ball figure. Like I was telling you, that's the low ball. That's the least that people typically are paying to get rid of bed bugs. I came up, my figure, and this is rounding up, $825 a year. Uh, that's with the prices right now. So if you go onto my site and you look at the chemicals that I that I have listed, Crossfire, for example, there's a listing there for forty three twenty six. That's the cheapest one I have posted. It's and I try to keep my list updated with the cheapest prices that I can because I go on Amazon. I'm always constantly looking up the prices and I try to put the cheapest ones up there that I can. If you can find cheaper, by all means, you know, like I said, click the link, go there, and and then search. Just search Amazon, and you might even be able to find it cheaper than I have it. I couldn't find any cheaper, and I just looked. Uh, forty-three twenty-six for a thirteen-ounce bottle of Crossfire. All right, it's got a residual of thirty days. So if you spent forty-three twenty-six a month, once a month, that's thirty-day residual. You use the whole thirteen ounces, which 30, 13 ounces makes one gallon. If you did prevention, now let's say you don't have bed bugs. Let's say you're just using it to prevent bed bugs. You would spend around five hundred and nineteen dollars and twelve cents a year. That's twelve bottles of Crossfire ordered on Amazon. All right, that's five hundred and nineteen dollars a year. So let's round up to five twenty, five twenty-five. All right, eight hundred and twenty-five dollars. How did I get that number? Because I'm figuring a three hundred dollar sprayer. And people usually go like, oh my God, there's no way I'm spending that much on a sprayer. I understand why you don't want to spend $300 on a sprayer. But the reason that I say you need to buy a decent sprayer is because this is for a prevention. This is something you're going to do every month. You're going to need to make sure that your sprayer is not clogged. You're going to need to make sure you've got the proper flow. Um, a B&G which is what I recommend. It's what I use. It's what I have, you've seen me use it in my videos. If you've watched my videos, I've shown you how to do the work. Um, the reason that I recommend B&G is because they last a lifetime. And I am not a salesman for B&G. I don't work for their company. I have their sprayers. I use their sprayers. 
They are phenomenal. It's a stainless steel tank. It's a brass pump. The only thing you're going to have to do is maintenance, which works with anything, even your little cheap plastic sprayers. The problem with a plastic sprayer, and the reason I don't recommend something from like, you know, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, you know, somewhere like that, is because they're like $10 to $15. The flow isn't correct. You're not going to get the right application. You're going to use too much product, or you're not going to use enough. And the point with bed bugs is you've got to be able to use the right amount of product. Understand, you are not a professional. You are going to make mistakes here and there. You're going to use more chemical or you're going to use less chemical. If you have a BNG, it just limits, it, it lessens your margin of error. You're not going to make as much mistakes because you've got a quality piece of equipment. A man is only good as the tools that he has as far as a builder. Builder, whatever that saying is. If you know, leave a comment below. I'm sure people will correct me. But a builder is only as good as the tools that he's provided with. And if you have a crappy tool, you're going to do a crappy job. That's just the way it is. And don't expect to be able to get a cheap plastic bottle to spray your chemical in that's a high-quality grade pesticide. Um and expect to be able to get rid of your bed bugs. It's just not. It's not going to work. And if you're going to spend $519 a year in pesticide, you might as well just go ahead and spend the extra $300, get yourself a decent sprayer, and it, they are less than that. You can get them less than that. They run sales on them all the time for like $250, $230, I think is the cheapest I've seen one. Usually I buy them when they go that cheap um, as just, a re just to have one as a replacement. And it's easier to have one to replace while you fix the one that's broke. That way, you, you always have a good working sprayer. <laughs> so that's what I recommend. If you're in pest control, you know what I mean. You always have a backup so that you can fix the one that's broken. Um, and so that's all that I've got, all my statistics. Those are the prices that you're going to spend if you do it yourself. Um, watch my videos. Send me comments. Ask me questions. I don't mind helping you out. I hope I've explained. I'm going over my list right now. Uh, where did the bed bugs come from and what can you do to prevent them? I think I've done a pretty good job explaining what to do. Um, as far as that $800 a year or $825 a year, that goes for elimination as well. Um, when you treat with Crossfire, you want to make sure you treat your mattresses, box springs. You want to treat your headboard, footboard. Make sure you take all the covers and stuff off first. Follow the label. The label's really easy. I think it's like three or four pages long. It's one of the shortest labels, but it's only for bed bugs. It's not going to work on other things. You know, one of the comments I get a lot is, uh, if I buy Crossfire, can I use it for fleas? Can I use it for roaches? Can I? No, it's not going to work on anything but bed bugs. That's what it's formulated for. That's what it's mixed for. That's what it's for. It's for bed bugs. It's not for anything but bed bugs. So if you've got problems with other insects, like I said, on my, on my store page, I've got cockroaches as a thing. I got the bed bugs as a thing. I got, you know, fleas as a thing on there. And so if you just go look, I think it's a really good way to kind of have everything all in one place. I keep it updated all the time. Um, and so hopefully, you know, if you're ever wanting to donate to me or anything like that, there's no need. If you just click my Amazon link and go there, if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, I do get kickbacks from that. I have to tell people that because I don't want you to think that I'm trying to you know, swindle you or anything like that. It's just stuff that I'm just trying to help people out. So hopefully this video has helped you out. And if it has, I'm sorry I've run on for almost 25 minutes now. You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.